the word reconciliation deals with enmity it deals with distance and it deals with estrangement in a relationship but jesus has reconciled us so therefore because jesus has reconciled us we and god are at peace you can no more say i lost my peace because to lose your peace means to lose god because he is our peace he is our peace peace is not a feeling peace is a person jesus is our peace so to say i lost my peace means i lost jesus you no more lose your peace that's why the peace of god that you have passed understanding because no matter what happens there is peace because jesus is constant if you're with me shout a powerful amen so salvation is our peace we didn't ask for it we didn't pray for it we didn't fast for it we didn't look for it romans chapter 5 verse 8 but god commended his love to us us in that while we were yet sinners christ died for us we were rebellious people we were rebels yet in our rebellious state christ dies for us he acted independent of our action because god is only controlled by himself he acted independent of our action that is why it's the grace of god ephesians chapter 2 verse 11 look at it wherefore remember that ye being in time past gentiles in the flesh who are called on circumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands next verse that at that time ye were without christ being aliens from the commonwealth of israel and strangers from the covenants of promise having no hope and without god in the world but now in christ jesus ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of christ somebody shout there's no more distance between god and myself look at verse 14 for he is our peace who is our peace jesus is our peace do you have jesus so what do you have will jesus leave you he said i will never leave nor forsake you will jesus leave you so will peace leave you why because peace is jesus and jesus will never leave you he is our peace he does not have our peace he is he is he does not have our peace he is our peace who had made both one and had broken down the middle wall of partition between us jesus came where that partition divided us with god where god was saying where are thou when jesus came he took the partition away when he took the partition he stood in between and bridged the gap we in christ god in christ christ in us god in us no more barrier no more barricade no more distance we have been reconciled we are being restored we are in good standing with god he is our peace can somebody shout hallelujah the peace of god that passes all understanding he is our peace he has broken down the middle wall of partition no more distance then he took it and nailed it to the cross verse 15 having abolished in his flesh the enmity even the law of commandments contained in ordinances for to make in himself of twin one new man 16 and that he might reconcile both unto god in one body by the cross having slain the enmity thereby verse 17 and came and preached peace to you which were afar off and to them that were nigh he is our peace he brought peace he brought reconciliation man and god are no more divided man and god are now united satan has lost his place because the only place that satan had was in our separation now we are reconciled satan has no place anymore that's why satan is not supposed to be an issue in your prayer because jesus took him out of the way all principalities and powers made a public show of the devil and he said now you are in charge you are in charge the devil is under your foot you trample over serpents and scorpions the devil is no more a subject all things are yours including satan and death they are your property 
They are all your property. So you, you can do what you want to do with them. Am I talking to somebody? He is your peace. He has broken down the middle wall of partition. And he has brought them to himself. Which were afar by the preaching of reconciliation. Can somebody shout hallelujah.